So welcome to the window to Dubai. I'm here with Vince Spina yeah. from Barberia Italiana. Yeah, correct, right. Now, that's not how you actually pronounce your first name, but I couldn't do it. So why don't you say your actual first name? Yeah, my name is Vincenzo Spina. But everyone calls me <laughs> Vince, you know. I wasn't going to get that. Easier, yeah. easier, I wasn't yeah. going to get that right. So you are the uh, owner of um, Barberia Italiana, correct. right? The founder, yeah. And we, I, I actually go here. That's how I found you. I, it's close to me. I go to Mercado Mall and I get my beard and hair done there all the time. But it's kind of funny because your background is actually not in the barber business. You come from the stone kind of engineering business. Can you tell me more just kind of how you evolved to that? Yeah, I'm a building engineer uh, and I specialized in stone. I'm from a, a small town in uh, north of Tuscany called Carrara, very famous for, for marble. And that's the reason why I moved to Dubai uh, back in uh, uh, 2015, April 2015. Uh, but I already had my uh, barber business uh, in, in Italy because by um, not formal education, let's say I always study marketing because it was always my passion. And I was having a marketing agency, strategic marketing, and I opened my first barber shop in Italy in January 2015. So the first branch in uh, of Barberia Italiana was opened in Cremona 2015, and after a few few months, I I left and moved to Dubai, uh, where I started my my project, my business with Stone. Yeah. And the thing is kind of what you were saying is really the big difference between you and let's say a barber shop is you're more of a gents yeah. shop, right? Kind of you're more focused on the whole experience of grooming, not necessarily like a quick cut and go. Correct. Correct. That's how we differentiate ourselves. I mean, I saw in the market there are a lot of barber shop. Um, we, I wanted to bring here a relaxing experience, the Italian touch, you know, the Dolce Vita, uh, nice espresso, Italian music, you sit. You switch off from everything for an hour, and then you can enjoy your service. That's that's what I want for my client. I'm not a barber. I don't have any barber in background, but I'm the first uh, client of the barber shop. I'm very picky. My guys sometimes say, "Boss, you're too picky," but I'm very picky with details. That's what I want for uh, for my for my customers. I want a high level of service and relaxing experience. Yeah. I've personally had this kind of full service experience. Which I think because they knew I was going to interview you. They gave me like the whole experience where I yeah. had like, I had literally had like a facial, my nose hairs were trimmed or, or like waxed, my ears were waxed. They did my, they gave me a pedicure, manicure. I laid back. I literally oh, yeah. fell asleep for like an hour and like woke up and I'm like a whole new person. So it's pretty cool because it's different. There's a lot of, you know, quick cuts, you get in, you get your beard trim, you're in and you're out. So you've kind of gone in a, a different direction. And it seems to work in Dubai too, right? I mean, compared to other markets, you were saying like in Italy, the whole beard kind of concept is different here, right? Yeah, it's working very well. I would say that we, uh, I think we are uh, successful because I brought to the market something that was not here. There was like an English barbershop, Arabic barbershop, but there was an, an Italian experience, an European experience in the same day way uh, was missed. Uh, we opened the first branch in uh, Mercato Mall in 2000, 2016 and the second one in 2018, this year, March. We're planning to open the third one. And it's successful because people enjoy their time there. Yeah. In a busy city like Dubai, where everyone is always in a rush, you need that time for yourself. So yeah. a man needs that time for, uh, for, for himself. That's what... Uh, and you were saying, experience. sorry not to cut you off, but you were saying in the third one, uh, the third location, it's actually DIFC, right? Yes, for being, yes. And you, you mentioned, I don't know if you can announce this or not, but maybe there might be actually like a small bar, alcohol, yeah. which is kind let, of unique let, for let, Dubai. Let's let's keep like a bit signal, <laughs> let's say. Let's not say too much, but yeah, yeah it will be very cool. We'll yeah, very cool. yeah, you're trying to expand kind of the idea yeah, of exactly. it. And you also even talked about Hong Kong. So you're really yeah. going, you've, you've got obviously Italy going, you've got now UAE, you're going to Hong Kong, and you even mentioned maybe even London. Yes. So we have four branches uh, in uh, in Italy right now. Uh, Cremona was the first one. Uh, Bergamo was um, the second one. Sorry, Brescia was the second one. Then we opened Milan and Bergamo. So four branches in Italy is all located in the north area around Milan. Two branches in uh, Dubai and we'll open uh, in Hong Kong by 1st of December. So the 1st of December is the date for oh, the nice. grand opening. Yes. I think in Asia is very interesting and um, it's very interesting market. They love the Italian style and uh, uh, the barbering is still not so evolved like in Dubai. In Dubai, we really have a lot of uh, yeah. uh, concepts, but barbershops, uh, not so many in, uh, in Asia. So it's interesting market. Yeah. And so 
actually kind of want to talk about the quality of the barber shop here because we were talking about how um, like the difference in the beards, right? Like Dubai is like really good at doing your beard when you go to, like we were talking about when I went to America, like the yeah. level of what they do for a beard is just not at the yeah. same level. And you were saying like your barbers in comparison to Italy here for the beard specifically, like you don't even do your beard in Italy. You only do it yeah. in Dubai now. Yeah, majority of my barbers are, uh, uh, are Arabic, uh, Syrian, Egyptian, uh, Moroccan. So uh, the level of experience that I think is something that they have in their culture so uh, that's why the quality of uh, grooming here is so, so high. Compared to Europe, where we don't really, it's the say to have to keep the beard and to have beard trim, to have a beard like faded, is something new that is coming up now. So we don't yeah. have like a long history of that. So that's why these guys are really amazing. Yeah. Really good. I think I was telling you a story how when I went to America, like one side was smaller yeah. than the other. <laughs> Like there's like yeah, two days. Like, is Kong, it? My, my line when I went to Hong Kong, but I was like upside down. I said, like, guys, what have you done? But I mean, uh, the, really here we get spoiled. When we go to a barber shop in Dubai, we get spoiled because their yeah. quality is. And, and you can get it done for like $10, which is like 35 dirhams. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's really good. Yeah. And then you go to America and you pay double yeah. and it's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's about the level of price in the sense of, of course, where do you go? I mean, we charge more than that. Yeah, yeah, of it's course. A, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. about the experience that the client is going to have, the location and the, the type of service that you get. But yeah, in, uh, I don't know, America, I've never had my beer trip. Don't do America. it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I would say that in, uh, in, uh, in Dubai, the, the quality is quite high. Yeah. yeah. And the unique thing about your journey is obviously you have kind of an engineering stone background, yeah. but you really kind of went down the whole marketing and brand positioning. And that's kind of where it seems like you've been able to separate yourself because you understood, you, you said something to me that I've heard other people say, but you said it really well was if you're something for everyone, you're, then you're from no one. And right. it's not necessarily whether you're good or bad. It's whether you're different. Yes. And right. that, that seems like what you've done. Yeah, I, uh, I studied a lot about marketing, strategy marketing. Aris and Jack Trout are the fathers of the brand positioning. It's a concept of marketing that was born like 50 years ago when the market started to be very busy. Uh, they found a way that they kind of created this concept of differenti differentiation. Uh, there is one book called Differen Differentiate or Die. It's, uh, yeah, it's written yeah. by uh, Jack Trout. It's really cool, positioning that many of them. I mean, I read in all of them all. And the idea is that when you have, uh, when you, we are in a busy market, you have to create something unique, something that people can perceive different. Because um, people, they don't have a perception of what is better, what is worse, but people, they can perceive what is different from something else. Yeah. So that's what, uh, what is the most important thing Right now, I think for a company, differentiate us. We communicate. We are the authentic Italian gen salon. Some people will like us. Some people just want to go to a barber shop, have a quick train, be, uh, be out in five minutes. Fair enough. We offer this. Who likes to have this kind of experience will come to our barber shop. Who doesn't will go to other uh, competitors. It's fine. Yeah. There is a market for everyone. But uh, that's very important to be able to communicate your differentiation in, in order to attract your mark, your, your, your target. Yeah. For me, I'm kind of a mix, you know, because sometimes I re mostly for a beard trim, I just need a quick trim to keep the line clean because I, yeah. if I do it myself, it'll just, it'll <laughs> creep up and creep up and creep down and it'll just get really bad. Yeah. So sometimes I just need that. And then when I know it's like time to get the whole thing done, I usually go to you guys, get the haircut, the beard, you know, the nose hairs, the ear hair, yes. get it all done at once, you yes. know, but for maintenance, it's easier to just kind of go in and get out. So I all kind right. of do both. It seems like. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, it really depends. I mean, the guys, of course, are trained in order to ask to the client if he has enough time because that's important time. We respect yeah. time, you know. So sometimes the client is in a rush to say, okay, which kind of. That's why, for example, in our menu, uh, we differentiate express service and signature services. Signature services uh, are more about the relaxing ah, experience. I didn't know Ex that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have an express, for example, express haircut. It's very quick. You just have a regular haircut or you have your signature haircut, which is a relaxing experience. We have tonic, massage, 
and people relax, spend 40 minutes on the chairs, and that's uh, that's what we offer. So the client has the possibility to okay. accept. But for sure, every time you come to us, you have a very good uh, espresso coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're Italian, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all about the coffee, yeah. <laughs> we, we love coffee, yeah. Yeah, and so what do you think is, um, that if there was something you wanted people to know specifically about like your experience that's different, that you just kind of want people to try out, what would it be? Just you mean in terms of uh, the service, this the, everything that you do. I Meaning, why would somebody want to come to you specifically? So the idea be, behind Barbara Italiana is that we I wanted to create a place. So it's a place where the modern man, businessman, can have his own time. So you come there, you relax, you switch off the phone, you don't think about anymore about work wife, girlfriend, whatever it is, <laughs> and you just take time for yourself. And that's why many of my clients say, wow, the experience is when I want some time for myself, I come to the barbershop, I, I relax, the guys take care of me, I, I fall asleep in the uh, <laughs> chair, yeah. and that's what, uh, that's what, we, what we offer. Uh, along with the Italian experience and, of course, the uh, decoration is repeated exactly the, like the shops that we have in Italy. So it's always authentic. We try to transfer the story. So all, also the the services all that, that, that we provide uh, comes from the traditional uh, Italian way of barbering. So our staff is trained by our staff in Italy. And nice. Yes. Yes. That's what. Uh, that's what we have in Italy. You know, the barber shop, a gen salon, is a place where a man they go, especially during weekend, and they hang out together. They talk about uh, football in Italy. In Italy, we have football. Yeah. Uh, girls, and you you enjoy your time together. Yeah. It's like a, a meeting point, and that's what I'm trying to recreate. Not just a place where you go, but some maybe you go with your friends, and you you'd like to spend uh, some time with friends. Then you have your grooming done. And you enjoy, you share that experience. That's uh, what that's what I'm trying to recreate with Barbara Italiana, not only in Dubai, but also in Italy, because this thing was kind of missed. And that's what we are going to bring to Hong Kong. This experience, that place where gentlemen can hang out, spend time together. And uh, it's also networking in Dubai. It's a lot, of, a, lo- a lot about networking. Yeah. I met a lot of my clients for my stone job at the barbershop. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it really is in Dubai about networking for sure. Yeah, yeah. networking is very important. And uh, when you're there, you know, it's like you can meet and start to talk business. And uh, I like that. I like that. I like to spend time at uh, the salon and to meet people. And over time, uh, my clients, they ask me about the story of the barbershop. And so they like to listen about that. You know, yeah. that we started in Italy and we were very small. I cannot even believe that now after less than four years we have we are we have three two two branches in dubai we are opening in hong kong i mean it was completely unexpected yeah so i think it's a good episode how can people find you on instagram social media if they want to where if they want to get their you know get the service by you how can they find you yeah so we have our uh, website which is barberiaitalianadubai.com uh barberia italiana uae and instagram or on facebook barberia italiana dubai they can find us there. They can book the appointment or awesome. Yeah. I think it's a great episode. Yeah. I think that's good. Awesome. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank, Thank you very much. Bye.